Ezekwesili, how easy is it to do business in Lagos? How easy is it to do business in Lagos? That's my big question on the show today. Hmm. I'm having this conversation with you because we just saw a report from the presidency. According to the presidency's 2023 subnational ease of doing business report, uh, it's not very easy to do business in Lagos. <laughs> this report actually comes from the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, Pebec. And this report says that Lagos is ranked 29th in the country for ease of doing business. 29th. Lagos got a score of 5.16 on the Pebec Subnational Ease of Doing Business report, below the national average of 5.69. That's our business hard fact today. So let's uh, let's talk a bit about this report, shall we? And you will let me know, because you're the one who's doing business here. You will let me know. You will tell me whether it reflects the realities that you face as a business owner, a business entrepreneur in Lagos. Then, let's talk about the availability or non-availability of cash. But we're going to start with this ease of doing business in Lagos bit. Like I said, Lagos scored below the national average on the PEBEC uh, subnational ease of doing business report. This is a report from the presidency itself. Remember that uh, PEBEC is an office in the presidency uh, under Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo. And they surveyed businesses over the past uh, few months to understand how they feel about the business environment. They talked about they, they talked to almost um, 3,000 businesses in all 36 states and the FCT. And they asked them questions relating to six different factors. So uh, questions about infrastructure, uh, secure and stable environment, skills and labor, economic opportunity, regulatory environment, transparency and accessibility of information. These were some of the areas that they focused their questions on. So what the report does is measure the perception of business owners in each state about how easy it is to do business in their state. So the people get business for different states. How do they take C, whether it's day easy or a day hard to do business for that state? So let me give you the top 10 states in the report. Number one on this list, the top state in Nigeria to do business, Gombe. Gombe scored 7.15. Jigawa scored 6.88. Sokoto scored 6.83. KB, KB, sorry, scored 6.74. Katsina scored 6.52. Bauchi scored 6.37. Anambra scored 6.19. Kaduna scored 6.18. Yobe scored 6.15. Plateau scored 5.87. Yeah. Has anyone who's listening to me done business in these top 10 states? Anybody at all who's listening at the moment, have you done business in these top 10 states? Gombe, Jigawa, Sokoto, Kebi, Katsina, Bauchi, Anambra, Kaduna, Yobe, Plateau. If you've done business in these top 10 states, do you agree that it is easier to do business in these states than it is in Lagos? 0700993993. 993 is it also possible that business people in Lagos simply have higher expectations? Because couldn't it be that things are actually harder for businesses in other states, but maybe the people there have a higher tolerance. So they say, oh, it's easy to do business. Whereas a Lagos business person is like, no, things should be better. Is it possible that the survey did not take this into account. I'm not saying that it didn't. I'm just asking that is it possible? Or, or is it actually harder to do business in Lagos than in most other states of the Federation? Again, the states in the top 10. Gombe, Jigawa, Sokoto, Kebi, Katsina, Bauchi, Anambra, Kaduna, Yobe, 
plateau. Have you done business in these states? Do you agree that it's easier to do business in these states than in Lagos? 01465-7190 for women. 01465-7190. Women call me on that number. Men call me on 0700-993-993-993. we are going to get into the different uh, factors. The, we're going to get into detail of the different factors, the six different factors of, of, of that score in a moment. But I want to hear your general thoughts, first of all. Do you agree? That it's easier to do business in the in the top ten states that the presidency mentioned than in Lagos. That's that's for those of you who have experience in those states. So now for the rest of you who don't have businesses in those states, but you shall have business here in Lagos. How would you rate ease of doing business in Lagos? Ninety nine point three. Hello. 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 Hello, Sam. Hello, Sandra. Good hey. evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Brian. Talk to me. Yeah, so I I was born and raised in the north. Okay. And now I live in Lagos. Okay. Believe me or not, it is very, very easy. To do business in the north? To do business in the north than this place, Lagos. Okay. It is very, 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 very easy. Where? Are we talking about are we talking about transportation? Okay. You understand? Okay. Are we talking? You know, it's very like very 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 easy. Okay. Very 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 easy. Okay. No doubt. Because I have been to Kano. Okay. And they give that to me in Jigawa State. Okay. And my mom is a full of woman from the Okay. So all those places is my so I is very very see the first time I came to Lagos I up run back. I almost run back to the north. Okay. That's just the truth. So it's very, very, very easy there. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I wish you got a bit more detailed there. However, thank you so much for calling. 99.3. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? Ogajuku in traffic. Ogajuku, welcome. Talk to me. So I, I don't have a business anywhere yet. Okay. But um, I just want to observe that you have not g- given those who would be calling a scale, say out of 10 or out of whatever number, mm. um, how do you rate? So uh, that's just my observation because I just want to be hearing, you know, 10 have called like 10 out of 10, we mm. can do business successfully. Mm. That's mm. nice of you, well done. Okay. All right. So let's give a scale. Okay. So fine. Let's do over 10. Huh? But the scale, honestly, I was going to get to that in the next speech band. So we'll get to that. 99.3. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What's your name? Well, this is a guy called Talk to me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, honestly, uh, Sandra, that, um, um, that uh, is this statistics or um, research? It's a report, yes. A report okay. from uh, mm-hmm. the Ease of Doing Business Department uh, of the President. Uh, yeah, what, whatever. They are not wrong at all. Okay. They are not wrong at all. Okay. Is it the, is it the indirect tax? Is it goes? Is it the trouble transporting your goods? Is it the the the, the wahala facing away if you or if you're an importer, mm. you uh, you bring in your goods before your container before you you get your container to the destination to say to the Amiros or and whatever or whatever. Mm. You somebody is coming to buy from you, you're paying somebody for your customer to come get goods from you. Are you a customer buying from a, from a, an importer mm-hmm. or from a trader? Mm-hmm. You're paying somebody just to buy goods from another person. In fact, the the the, the score, the, I mean, before they came to Lagos, it's even, it's even high mm-hmm. in as much as I'm concerned. Okay. And if you want to test this, if you want to put this on test, mm. just try open a walkable seaport in Southeast or somewhere in the north okay. and give Lagos just three years and see if it will thrive and see if the economy of Lagos will be sustained. Just let Nigerian government put this on test. Open a working seaport somewhere in the south east or in somewhere in the north and give Lagos three years and see if if the economy will be sustained. 
Thank you. All right. Well, uh, they're, they're they're working on one, right? In uh, so you have the one in Port Harcourt that uh, hopefully will start to service, um, you know, the rest, you know, a lot of the east. And then I think there's they're also working on one in Asaba. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check to confirm. But yes, if you just tuned in, how easy is it to do business in Lagos? Like I said. Uh, the presidency's 2023 subnational ease of doing business report says it's not very easy to do business in Lagos. This uh, report comes from the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, Pebec. It's 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 uh, under Yemi Oshimbajo, the uh, vice president, and um, Lagos got a score of 5.16. On the Pebec subnational ease of doing business report, that's below the national average of 5.69. Lagos is ranked 29th in the country for ease of doing business. Top 10 states that are easy to do business in: Gombe, number one; Jigawa, number two; Sokoto, number three; Kebi, number four; Katsina, number five; Bauchi, number six; Anambra, number seven; Kaduna, number eight. Yobe number nine, Plateau number ten. Have you done business in these top ten states? If you have, do you agree that it's easier to do business there than it is in Lagos? Is it possible that business people in Lagos have higher expectations? So when they were interviewing people in Lagos, they just had higher expectations than say the other people in these um, other states in other parts of Nigeria. So things that people in, say, Anambra or Plateau will as accept, people in Lagos will say, no, we have to demand better. Or is it actually harder to do business in Lagos than in most other states of the Federation? 0700-993-993-993. This uh, report focused on infrastructure, secure and stable environment, skills and labor, economic opportunity, regulatory environment, transparency and accessibility of information. And Lagos ranked 29th. And in top 10 were Gombe, Jigawa, Sokoto, Kebi, Katsina, Bauchi, Anambra, Kaduna, Yobe, Plateau. So I'm asking you, Lagos, do you agree that it's easier to do business in those top 10 states than in Lagos? Have you done business in any of those states? Then if you don't have business in any of those states, how would you rate ease of doing business in Lagos? 99.3, hello. 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 Oh, that's unfortunate. It doesn't uh, look like the phone line is cooperating. 99.3. Hello, Sandra. How are you doing? What's your name, ma'am? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? Alex on the line, please. A Alex, talk to me. Yeah, Lagos even given 29th position is even, is even too much. Okay. I think Lagos should be given last. Ah, why? The doing business in Lagos is hell. Hmm. You know, this, the environment is so, is so toxic in doing business in Lagos. Okay. And I think it's because of the kind of government that Lagos is running. Okay. Is this the algorithm you want to talk about? Go to those uh, market people. They are always on their neck, collecting money, collecting money. Sometimes they'll just come and say they are locking up shops. If you want to do government with the government, I mean, do business with the government, it's another hell. You must know somebody, you must settle, 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 until nothing is left for you that you are even doing the business. You want to talk about the police, or is this the last man you want to talk about in Lagos State? Is this the road that there's no road anywhere? You are going from somewhere to somewhere. One, uh, one somebody is uniform is stopping you, and then they will begin to waste your time. You that even more pepper upon it, upon sort of upon injury. If a Lagos is what? If I'm just saying that they should just open the the, the port, Lagos is not. You know they are saying it's the people in Lagos that do business. By the time all these the people live in Lagos, then they, they then they will know what it is for it's the, it's the man to be in Lagos in business. It's because of the poor that they still have in Lagos that you still keeping there. I'm telling you, I'm a Yoruba person, no. Okay. I'm not an Igbo person. I'm a Yoruba woman, all, all Yoruba. Okay. So I don't, I don't pity Lagos. I said they come back, they go and repent and and think inwardly and make it easy for people doing business. You see, is it the LRS you want to talk about? Ah, <laughs> local government, another day. 
Whoa, Sandra, let's just be like that. Let's All right, thank you very much. Alex, Alex said, whoa, <laughs> let's just leave it like that. Okay, let's go to WhatsApp where we have this message from Sam in Ota. Sam says, to me, to do business in Lagos is very difficult due to double taxation, extortion, traffic issues, Agbero Wahala, etc. Like those who have shop in Lagos, you pay for extension, pay for different types of revenue, even when your business is yet to mature. Hmm. All right. Uh, we've got this message here from Elon. Elon says, uh, okay, all right. We've got uh, this message here from Imanol Dimu. Imanol says, Lagos is a picture of Nigeria. No easy way to do business. It is hard and harsh, starting from the government to the property owners you rent from, to, from potential customers or everyone is not good. Imanol from Idimu, thank you for your message. Uh, this message here simply says the return in Lagos is more. I don't know what this message means by the return in Lagos is more. However, I want to get into a bit of detail here, you know, with you on this report, right? So this report defines ease of, dis- uh, ease of doing business um, in six, uh, with six factors, by identifying six factors right or six indicators right so you've got infrastructure secure and stable environment skills and labor economic opportunity regulatory environment transparency and accessibility of information and i want you to talk to me about each of these factors in lagos then i want you to give it a score between zero and ten Zero for, oh, this thing doesn't exist, or this thing is terrible. Ten for, excellent. So with infrastructure, Pebec looked at four things. Electricity, transportation, logistics, and telecoms. Electricity, transportation, logistics, and telecoms. How would you rate Lagos over ten on these four things combined? Electricity, transportation, logistics, and telecoms. For secure and stable environment, Pebec looked at the frequency of security breaches and other incidents. They also looked at how quickly security agencies respond to these incidents, to these issues, and how well they resolve them. How would you rate Lagos over 10? On these four things combined. Frequency of security breaches and other incidents, how quickly security agencies respond to these issues, and how well they resolve them. So I guess technically not four. Then for skills and labor, the report looked at the quality of skilled workers in the state and the quantity of those skilled workers. It looked at whether there were programs to upskill the workers or to connect businesses with skilled workers. How would you rate Lagos over 10? For regulatory environment, Pebec asked businesses about how easy it is to register a business, renew their licenses, how easy it is to pay taxes and levies, how easy it is to uh, enforce contracts. How would you rate Lagos over 10? For economic opportunity, Pebec wanted to know how easy it is for businesses to get funding and financing or how easy it is for them to access Forex and how big their market is in that state. How would you rate Lagos over 10? Under transparency, Pebec wanted to know whether businesses in a state were getting information about programs in the state that can help them how would you rate lagos over 10 so you now have an idea of the criteria and i need i need you to assess ease of doing business in lagos for yourself remember that these questions i'm asking you are the questions that they asked businesses all over the country and lagos ranked 29 29th in Nigeria. Top 10 again Gombe, Jigawa, Sokoto, Kebi, Katsina, Bauchi, Anambra, 
Kaduna, Yobe, Plateau. Top 10. So think about the questions I've asked this evening. We'll take a break. When we come back from this break, let's hear your rankings. So again, infrastructure, security and stable environment, skills and labor, economic opportunity, regulatory environment, transparency and access- accessibility of information. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. When we return, we'll keep talking. It's got to be good, eh? It's got to be wholesome. Chili, tasty, what cherry, nourishment. Some nourishment from your favorite brand. If you have ever had to pay out of your pocket to repair your car after an accident, you know how painful it is. Especially these days that money isn't easy to come by. Now is the best time to ensure those things you care about. Your car, house, businesses and other valuables. Let Hairs Insurance take care of the bill rather than spending your hard-earned money to replace or repair your valuables. If your property is stolen, Hairs Insurance will pay to replace it. If there is a fire, Hairs Insurance will pay to fix the damage. If your property is dented in an accident, Hairs Insurance will take care of the bill. This is truly the best time to insure the things you care about. Call Hairs Insurance, that is H-E-I-R-S, on 0700 434 or WhatsApp chat on 912 You can also visit www.hairsinsurance.com for more information. Oh, the only detergent that keeps me bright and fresh. I know the way time to wash that car. My clothes is have the best, so why go less? You can wash it lot, it's a little viva, it would be bad. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money, it would be Quality cleaning powder from Aspira. The Kitchen Nigeria. Seeing contestants being tested through fiery kitchen flames to create fine dining experiences. That's priceless to me. Watch season two starting 15th April on Africa Magic Family. DSTV channel 154 on Saturdays, 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. And repeats on Thursdays, 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. West African time. Brought to you by MasterCard. My paddy, how you doing? Uh, 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 you don't hear of Lucky Bet and all the Bunge offers when you don't carry it and the bam. <laughs> oh, but you never hear it, you know? Then you give you 600% welcome bonus plus 500% accumulator bonus when you sign up on top of the website. It never finish show, then get the highest odd. Go get fast payout to join. <laughs> Listen, if one game cut your ticket, they go still pay you. If two games can't cut your ticket and cut, <laughs> they go give you bracket and bonus. Not the dolo, polo, who no rodo. Sign up on top www.luckybet.ng. Lucky bet. Get lucky. Get rich. So, as you wake up, one first check highlight for Ellie Mama. You can remember, say, time for school was done, Richo. Um. Bola Wesabi, the one for person half for there. How you go do your thing? Can't still catch up with your game. That na Bola Wesabi. How you go do your waka? Can't still watch the game full time. Abi, come on. Bola. Show match be your side. Sick of say, then they summer you with better leads for any screen, any time, any day. No matter where you day. For chicken money, will be 3,200 naira a month. Live from Supersport on Showmatch Pro. Make you sign up for Showmatch.com. As the sun sets, you know it'll soon be Itar. What will be on your family's table? Some delicious homemade recipes prepared with love? With Five Alive, every sip is a delicious treat that will awaken your family senses, filling your old life during this holy month. 
Yes, hold it and create unforgettable moments with your loved ones. And at Sahood, Fiber Life will fill you with zest to keep you going through the day. Now available in delicious orange, mango and tropical flavors. Ramadan Mubarak. You too can make most of the football season. Don't just watch the game. Be part of the action. Sign up with Lucky Bet to enjoy 600% welcome bonus, 100% new season bonus, and 500% accumulator bonus, and lots more. Get in the game. Download the Lucky Bet app. Start playing and start winning big with Lucky Bet. Put your money where your lock is. Sign up today at www.luckybet.ng forward slash register. Lucky Bet. Get lucky. Get rich. My line has been barred. Not to worry. Link your NIN and unbar your Nine Mobile line with ease. Dial star 996 hash and select option 2. Or visit 9mobile.com.ng forward slash NIN. You also get up to 20K for calls and up to 20 gig data when you link your line. If you are yet to enroll your NIN, please visit any Nine Mobile Experience Center now. <laughs> Remember, dial star 996 hash, select option 2, or visit 9mobile.com.ng forward slash NIN now. Nine Mobile. What's the plan for today? Okay, so we have a 9 a.m. hair and nail appointment at the salon. At 3 p.m., we're going to watch the new superhero movie. Have drinks with Emeka and his friend at 6. At 8, we're going to try out the new restaurant at the mall and... Eh? All that in one day? How? Easy, my love. Start your day with a bowl of cereal made specially with Olympic milk. <laughs> Let's get going. Enjoy the goodness of Olympic milk to own your day. Olympic Milk. Stay active. Why buy a house when you can rent? Why buy a spacious home in Paramount Twin Towers, Oniru, against a community of like-minded people when you can go way further to build connections? Why wake up to extensive greenery and a view of the ocean instead of the hustle and bustle of the city? Why raise your kids in a safe and secure community when they can have what the average kid has? Sounds crazy? That's because you have standards and refuse to compromise them. To have your standards met, call 0806-728-7814 to buy a little more at Paramount Twin Towers, Oniru, and save 20%. Terms and conditions apply. Paramount Twin Towers, Oniru, is a project of Palti Morgan Holdings. Everyone is at the table for lunch. Mom is bringing in the jollof rice, and then... John! Sorry, Mom. Hello? Can I order some jollof rice to be delivered? Mama saves the day. Lunch is here. Mom, I got some coke too. Just come and eat, Joe. <laughs> Cook up memorable moments because family lunch and an ice cold coke make a recipe for wonder. Coca-Cola. Real wonder. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. Earn a living, you probably own a business, work for one, or want to start one. Business is central to your life. But do most business shows really speak to you? Today on the show, the billion dollar valuation of Balogu and Broad does. Let's talk about the stock market and Alaba market. Let's talk about share IPOs and diesel supply LPOs. Let's talk about Broad Street. The Nigerian Stock Exchange recorded an all time high on and Balogu Street. Uh, the maximum I was spent on fuel so on troll hmm. was 4000 On Balogu and Broad, Wednesdays at 5. How easy is it to do business in Lagos? The Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PEBEC, says it's not very easy. Lagos ranked 29th in the country for ease of doing business. Top 10 states to do business in, in Lagos, according to PEBEC, is Gombe, Jigawa, uh, or well, are uh, Gombe, Jigawa, Sokoto, Kebi, Katsina, Bauchi, Anambra, Kaduna, Yobe, and Plateau. Those are the top 10. Uh, and Lagos is number 29. Now, before the break, I uh, gave you the six indicators 
and I told you to share your own ranking with us. Because this is how the report defines ease of doing business. Infrastructure, secure and stable environment, skills and labor, economic opportunity, regulatory environment, transparency, and accessibility of information. So, again, like I said before the break, I will give you each of these factors and you will score what it means in Lagos. Give it a score between 0 to 10. 0 for non-existent or for terrible. 10 for excellent. With infrastructure, Pebec looked at four things. Electricity, transportation, logistics, and telecoms. How would you score Lagos over 10? 0 for terrible, 10 for excellent. For secure and stable environment, Pebec looked at the frequency of security breaches and other incidents. They also looked at how quickly security agencies respond to these issues and how well they are resolved. How would you rate Lagos? 0 over 10. 0 to 10. For skills and uh, labor, the report looked at the quality of skilled workers in the state and the quantity of those skilled workers. It also looked at whether there were programs to upskill the workers or to connect businesses with the skilled workers they need. How would you rate Lagos over 10? For regulatory environment, Pebec asked businesses about how easy it is to register a business or renew their licenses. How easy was it to pay taxes and levies? And how easy is it to enforce contracts? How would you rate Lagos over 10? For economic opportunity, Pebec wanted to know how easy it is for businesses to get funding and financing or how easy it is for them to access Forex and how big their markets in the state are. How would you rate Lagos over 10? Under transparency, Pebec wanted to know whether businesses in the state were getting information about programs in the state that can help them. How would you rate Lagos over 10? 0700993993993. That's for men. 01465 for women. 01465 for women. 0700993993993. You have an idea of the criteria used by the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, Pebec, for their report. How would you score Lagos? On the six criteria from 0 to 10. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. Hello. Hi, good evening, Sandra. Good evening. What's your name, sir? Yes, Hilary. Hilary, talk to me. Yes, uh, I am not exaggerating okay. in everything about Lagos. Mm. Zero. Zero, come on now, Hilary. Yes. Yes, I'm serious. I, I, I'm staying in Lagos. I've done business in Kaduna. Okay. I, from 2003 okay. to 2008, I was doing business in Kaduna. Okay. So when I finally relocated to Lagos okay. to do business, see, the first time of going to the market mm. to go, as in, to go buy stuff to to open a business, believe me, from one from payments from this and that and jobs, uh, tax business, you know that I couldn't account for anything just to buy things in the, in the store. Okay. So doing business in Lagos is overrated, and in fact, it is zero. Okay. Because um, as one thing is, if you want to do business, in, so you, the only advantage in Lagos is maybe you want to get, uh, you can get everything at your, at ease, your reach, but doing business in Lagos it is actually zero. You pay a uh, sign post this, hmm. uh, what is it called, LIS, uh, pass, uh, this, that, 
uh, radio permit, mm. TV permit, all those things. Mm. How much do you want to make in that business when the gold states are taking one and a half? What is your profit? What are the actual cost of doing of that business? Are you not going to pay for rent? Are you not going to pay life? Are you not going to pay your... Okay, if you have staff, are you not going to pay? But legal aid is overrated when it comes to business. Okay. I've done the business in Cardinal. I've done in Sokoto. Okay. Just... Even ordinary here, I've done business. Okay. You make your money at ease, very easy. You spend little, you gain more. But Lagos, you you are spending more, you are gaining little. Okay. That is that is just it. You can't you know, in everything I'm raising Lagos zero. Wow, very harsh. Okay. I wonder if there's somebody who disagrees with uh, Hillary, who just called to talk about his business experience in Kaduna, Sokoto, and Lagos. 99.3. Hello? Hello? All right. Doesn't look like that person is ready to go yet. Let's take a look at messages on WhatsApp. We have quite a few. Mike from Lamasa says, it's not easy doing business in Lagos at all, Sandra. There was a time I was running logistics business. Sandra, my IC Pepe. After obtaining every local government sticker, emblem, paying all levies, every junction you approach, Agueros will collect money from you. Every estate you go must collect a fee for doing a simple delivery. Then law enforcement agents will stop you demanding for documents that are not in existence just to extort and frustrate you. Then the painful one is traffic. You will spend valuable productive time in traffic going to a short distance. It's not easy at all. Ah. We've got Tunji, who says, I stayed in Gombe between 2005 and 2014. Electricity, especially between 2005 and 2011, was too close to 24 hours. Traffic was excellent, politically stable, cheap labor, regulatory environment is very encouraging. I rate Lagos 2 over 10, while I rate Gombe 7 over 10, because factors like availability of market. All right, Tunji, thank you for your message. I, I love the very well-traveled people who listen here. We've got uh, Daddy K, who says, doing business in Lagos is more troublesome than any state in the country. Everything in Lagos, ranging from tax, transport, store, security, regulatory, rent, is very intolerable. It's overhyped. It's terrible. Anambra, Kano, Kaduna can do business without thought. In fact, you will succeed in other states, and no one will know that you are into business. Anambra, 7 over 10. Kano, 6 over 10. Kaduna, 5 over 10. Bauchi, 6 over 10. Jigawa, 7 over 10. Lagos, 2 over 10. Due to, number one, bad government. Number two, Agueros. Number three, multiple taxation. Number five, high rents. Number six, bad roads. Number seven, systemic corruption. Number eight, poor security. Number nine, competitive but unfriendly environment. Number 10, above normal business risk. Ooh, Daddy K. Thank you for your message. We've got uh, uh, Ladi from Ikorodu who wants to know the bottom 10. I want to know the states that rated lower than Lagos. All right, I'm going to get to that in a bit, Ladi. We've got uh, this message from Ben in Yaba. I totally agree with the presidency's report on ease of doing business. People still remain in Lagos doing business because of the ports in Lagos, which make them to get their goods faster. However, on that area of security, I don't agree. The North is more volatile and uh, once, once pro business can just go in a day. I will rate Lagos 4.5 over 10. All right. Thank you, Ben, from Yaba. Ola Beauty in Ikorodu says it's hard to do business in Lagos because so, as a fashion designer and student in Ikorodu, I find it difficult to thrive because there's no light, bad road, security is nothing to write home about. Business owners here go through a lot to drive, Sandra. Ola Beauty. Well done, da. Uh, we've got Shego in the UK who says, Truth be told, to do business in Lagos is hectic. But for those talking about moving their business outside Lagos, that will not be possible for businesses whose customers are based in Lagos. What we should be pushing for is getting, uh, is getting the state government to ease the doing of business. Shego from the UK with that message. Let's come back to the phone lines now. 99.3. Sorry about that. Give us a call back if you can. Good evening. 
Hi, good evening. Hello? Is anyone there? Ah, 99.3. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good evening. This is Ibu Smith from Kenya. Talk to me. Yeah, uh, I'm in Lagos, and I think uh, I'll give Lagos 5 over 10. Okay. Yeah, Kano. I've been to Kano for a business trip okay. with my company, official vehicle. Mm. And we, we have this uh, interlocal government state that in Lagos is allowed. But we, we went to Kano. They, they, they disregarded it, and they said I must buy for Kano State. Mm. So it, it, you cannot just uh, talk about Lagos. It's also happening in Kano, another some part of Nigeria. So, But in Lagos State here, if you have interstate local government coming from east, nobody will disturb you because they are set it as an interstate local government. Paper. But when, when you go to the north, mm. they expect you to pay for the one they have in the north, too. Mm. When you have already paid for interstate papers. Okay. Yeah, 5 over 10, Lagos. 5 over 10 for Lagos, all right. Uh, so, we have below Lagos, we have Ogun State. We have the FCT, Abuja. We have Ebonyi. We have Cross River, Kogi, Delta, Enugu, and Edo. These are the states ranking uh, below Lagos. So, Lagos is 29th. Ogun is 30th, FCT is uh, 31st, Ebonyi 32nd, Cross River 33rd, Kogi 34th, Delta 35th, uh, Enugu 36th, and Edo 37th. And Lagos ranks 29th. All right, let's take a look at more messages on WhatsApp now. If you just tuned in, hi, how are you? The Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, Quebec, released a report for ease of doing business, sub subnational ease of doing uh, business report. And uh, this report ranks Lagos 29th in the country for ease of doing business. Lagos got a score of 5.16 on the report below the national average of 5.69 and the factors that um, they used uh, when they were putting this report together were infrastructure secure and stable environment skills and labor economic opportunity uh, regulatory environment transparency and accessibility of information how would you rank lagos over 10 99.3. Hello. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, it doesn't look like anyone is there. Okay. Let's uh, try again. 99.3. <laughs> Hello? Hello. How you doing? Hello. Good evening, Sandra. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? This is Wumi. Calling from Mojo. Talk to me, Wumi. Yeah, I think I will rank the goals um, 5 over 10. Hmm. Although we can say the is. The ease may not be there, but the money is there. And for many people, I think business is all about money. They don't care about ease. Mm. Yesterday, I saw about 50 or more than um, um, all these um, northern people outside um, Addis Aboki okay. coming into Lagos with their tipper. I'll be, oh, is it trailer? I'll call it. With more than 50 bikes. And these people, they don't even care if they are sleeping in, in the gutter. Okay. They are just chasing the money and take something home. Okay. And I don't think I think if people are not taking something home, they won't be coming to Lagos every day. Okay. They may not be there, mm. but the money is there. And I think many people, what they care about when it comes to business mm. is making money. Mm. So yeah, I think I will rank Lagos. Even if not five, seven over ten. Mm. Okay, so yes. 7 over 10, she ranks Lagos. Thank you very much for calling to rank. Let's take a look at messages we've got on WhatsApp because I don't know what's happening with the phone lines. Uh, Godfrey says, currently I'm based in Sokoto. I'm a businessman in Sokoto as well. It is easy doing business here in Sokoto, Kebi, because the competition is not much. There's no taxation, there's no hold-up, there are no agueros, there's no lasma. The neighboring country like Niger comes into the northern states in Nigeria to buy their goods. 
we the people here find it easy to do business because northern people don't do business a lot that makes the competition less we respect their culture and religion and that makes things easy for us all right thank you godfrey for your message we've got chi from surulere who says even with that report open a laptop shop in the north and in lagos lagos store will sell faster and generate more turnover open school in lagos and in the north the one in lagos will generate more profit i can go on and on even as it is lagos is difficult but you will still have more turnover in lagos that's why companies head offices and stores are more in lagos than in gombe or in jigawa all right thank you very much for your message uh this one is from weedin weedin says Typical of any cosmopolitan city across the world, the cost of doing business and cost of living are expected to be high. That is not out of place. This message here is from Emmanuel Infestak. Emmanuel says, in terms of doing business in Lagos, it's really not innovative. Ask yourself, what happened to the bike services who were barely on the scene for two years? How about policy? Remember enjoyment tax in Lagos? The state thrives from taxing taxing unskilled workers and multiple taxation due to excess population and we should not forget that since uh, uh, since the APC all ports activities have been restricted to Lagos alone and we're still waiting for a reversal of that policy that's not true we've seen port activity in in um, in river state as well we've got uh, uh Dogba in Ikorodu, Dogba says, business is not something that is easy in Lagos. Someone must have enough capital for his business to be sustained. So I will say it is uh, zero. Wow, zero. Ah, ah, now wow. Ah, ah. Thompson Obonabasi says, it's indeed very frustrating to do business in Lagos based on the following. High cost of shop or location, traffic palava, high cost of transportation due to Aguero, sudden destruction of shops by government, unnecessary bills from the government. This is the reason why Lagosians uh, continue to complain. We've got this message here that uh, from Cynthia in Agbara. Cynthia says, I agree that it's easier to do business in the north. My family is based in Lagos, but my mom's business is in Kanu and Sokoto. She can also testify that uh, she wants to move her business to the north because she says her business Businesses will suffer if she does it in Lagos. Hmm. All right, Cynthia. Lanre from Lekki says, government bureaucracy, agbarotocracy, uh, traffic bottleneck, insecurity, tribalism, land grabbers, communal clashes, multiple taxation, etc. make Lagos a difficult place to run a business. My rating and scorecards are skills, 8 over 10, regulatory, 3 over 10, economic opportunities, 7 over 10, security, 5 over 10, uh, tax, 4 over 10, Transportation system, eight. Oh, sorry. That, is that minus eight or is that eight? <laughs> uh, infrastructure development, four over ten. Information accessibility, seven over ten. My final rating is six over ten. Uh, Landry from Admiralty in Lekki. Okay. We've got uh, more messages here. Femi says, that figure on ease of doing business is a surprise to me. I mean concerning Lagos. As a child, I played soccer on Dosemo Street. Today, same street has been closed, even against motorists, in favor of business. Yet we say Lagos is the least on the list of doing business. Well, it's not the least. It's uh, number 29. And top 10 are Gombe, Chigawa, Sokoto, Kebi, Katsina, Pauchi, Anambra, Kaduna, Yobe, and Plateau. We'll take a break. When we come back from this break, this list is from the presidency, by the way. When we come back from this break, we'll bring you the news and then we'll talk about exports. I'm sure you have a lot of questions about exports. Don't miss it. With 50 naira, you fit with 40.3 million naira to remain with 100 naira. You fit with 800 and 50.
And I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running late to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat this time? Yes, when is the president coming out to address us? There's a few things. One, I have a burden and a passion for young people. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given time. Mr. Adeshino, isn't the president responsible to the people? What should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit? You fire them. Those that need to be fired are fired. It's looking like a brand new Chelsea attacking with so much fluidity. And what can you say about that, Martin? I know you follow Chelsea quite closely. I live close to the Chelsea training ground. That's what you mean by that. I'm not <laughs> a Chelsea.